Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play High Fleet, this is it, we're going to attack Kiva and capture the reactor. With a battered fleet, with not enough firepower I don't think, we do have the Sevastopol, we do have the Nomad, um, we have replenished the planes on our Wasp and Longer Bow, uh, we do have a fully functional Gladiator Mark II. We, uh, well, not much else. I mean, the Meteor is kind of in pieces. The, um, Scarab is sort of in pieces. So we don't really have much. Um, and this place is becoming dangerous. I could try repairing something else. But I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, let's see. Gladiator. I forgot to check if this thing's armor is fully repaired, and it is not. And I do want that fully repaired. Because, well, fortunately that really doesn't take a lot of time to repair. It's very, very good. Uh, yeah, these flares are get shot off very quickly, which is quite unfortunate. Oh, this is all a hundred. That isn't. Okay. It really... Uh, doesn't have a lot of... You know, this thing. Well, sort of. It, it's reasonable, I suppose. Oh, man. I mean, we can... As always, we can... Uh, you know, we can, uh... We can reload, apparently. I've, I've never tried reloading, so I don't know exactly how that works. Whether we get the same ships or not, and so on and so forth. We'll see how it works. But hopefully we won't need to reload, because we'll kick their asses! <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, land this thing. And... Take the risk. Thing really likes to rotate as well. Okay. One hundred meters. Everyone get ready. Fifty-nine. Well, there's another fifty-nine there, but okay. Touchdown confirmed. Oh, I. Th damage yeah, we just we just lost that leg. That's brilliant. That was too much of a hard landing. Brilliant. Oh freaking hell! More stuff to repair. Three point six hours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the risk. <coughs> Excuse me. Three point six hours, and then we're getting the heck out of there. There. All right. Time to go capture the reactor, and probably die. I have no idea how this is gonna go. No idea. There we go. Full power. I am going to probably send the planes there first. My heart is beating much faster now. <laughs> uh, we'll hit them with everything we've got. Alright. So. Planes. 266 millimeter rockets. Let's try some of these as well. I don't know what to expect there. I'm gonna save one of these. And there we go. Oh, and the zoom level again is all weird. Well, they are parked, so that's good. There's, there's not much there. Whoa. Well, that was three planes with all rockets, so, yeah. No wonder. Okay, so far so good. I only see two more ships there. Surely not. Surely there's like a thousand strike groups there. I can see one, two, three ships here? Where's all the... What? Where's, where's all the big cruisers and such? Do they not actually have strike groups here? Surely not. 
I hate the fact that they instantly report your position, despite the fact that the timer hasn't run out yet. But apparently, this, uh... If, if the planes destroy something and then go away, it counts as a retreat, which I guess means that it's an instant report. Very, very annoying, which means that we're gonna be getting missile strikes. <clears throat> so one more ship, huh? We're gonna waste all these bombs, but we do have a lot of them, so... <clears throat> Might as well. Was that it, then? That was it? Alright. Okay, so... Uh, we've got Kiva now. Um... I'm... Uh, 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 what now? I'll... Land the... Gladiator, I guess, in the Sevastopol for now? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Fire Let's go for 107 and then Sevastopol on the right. This thing really falls like a brick. 500 meters. 300 meters. Okay, so... The, the radiation never really came into play. Maybe it only comes into play if you start using... Nuclear missiles? Maybe? I really don't want to be causing extra damage here. Okay, so we can get the 60, 129, the 30, maybe the 45 as well. I think we could, yeah. If we just land like that. Ah, uh, well, maybe not. Let's see. No, it's just not large enough. I want to drag the feet. Okay, let's see, story time. <clears throat> Unbelievable news soon spreads throughout the city. The Lord Governor has fallen in battle. Oh, was that the guy we killed before? I don't know. Great Duke Sayari has entered the city in the company of the Elao Prince. And his ally is Omar Khan, a man everyone thought dead. And his ally is none other than Al Sahir of the Hidden People. The entire city comes to greet you. What a spectacular sight! The remaining members of the government waste no time showing you to the underground storage complex, eager to please their new masters. Ne wow. Next to the majestic dome of the reactor is an underground passageway. You walk down a flight of stairs. The storage area below is filled with uniform cylinders. They are stacked throughout the underground chamber as far as the eye can see. Pyotr casts a brooding glance to the side, where missile parts uh, glimmer in the dull light. The steel-knit arms of an assembly, uh, of assembly cranes obscure the ceiling, which stretches far into the dark facility. Have to click? They'll never let us leave with this. I made a terrible mistake. There will be no talks. Pyotr was right. An ultimatum arrives soon after. To the fleet, commander of the Romani Expeditionary Fleet. The Elad gathering of great houses hereby demands that you withdraw all Romani ships from Kiva immediately. You have eight hours to comply or the joint fleet of the great houses will destroy the city via nuclear strike. What? They'll spare nothing. Everything they have, they'll send our way. Pyotr Ignatievich, call an emergency meeting. Oh, crap. Game saved, okay. The beginning of nuclear war. The fleet officers and Tarkans assemble on the flagship 30 minutes later. Thank you for coming, gentlemen. I know how tired you are. High Fleet Command Operational Frame. But the predicament we now face is grave indeed. Kiva's garrison officer has provided us with intelligence about the weapon, uh, the weapon that reduced the Imperial capital to ruins. We didn't coerce him. He told us because he believes the gathering is planning to use this weapon to destroy Kiva. The poor man was absolutely terrified. He insisted again and again that everyone here is in grave danger. This new weapon is a ballistic missile. 
It features an unparalleled trajectory correction system that allows it to strike targets as far as 2,000 kilometers away. As a ballistic missile, this weapon cannot be used against mobile targets. However, it is absolutely devastating against stationary ones. Its speed is sufficient to strike its target in just over 10 minutes. These missiles are to be delivered to Gerrit on two specifically made carrier cruisers. Oh wow, look at that. Oh man. Each of them can carry up to 10 of these missiles. Oh freaking hell. I've marked the ship's potential destinations on the map. Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah, put more potential destinations. They will be able to launch a strike against Kiva if they dock anywhere within 2,000 kilometers of their target. Oh, freaking hell. These are all the cities that could be used to launch a missile strike against Kiva. If we intercept both carriers before either of them reaches any of the cities marked on the map, Kiva will be safe from this new weapon. Oh, both carriers, so there's two of them. Objective 1. Intercept the missile carriers before any of them reaches any city within 2,000 kilometers of Kiva. We still have the enemy strike groups to deal with, however. Yeah, but we destroyed them all, right? Their missiles are slow, but they have enough of them to reduce this place to a pile of radioactive ash. Eliminate the strike groups threatening Kiva. Three remaining? Oh, man. Can't we intercept these new missiles before they hit the city and the ships? If we have a reliable radar and enough anti-air missiles. But the anti-air system won't be able to intercept a high-speed ballistic missile. What if we use an A-100N? An A-100N. In theory, it could blast a ballistic missile if we detect it uh, quick, quickly enough. Ballistic missiles could be vulnerable to A-100N missiles with a nuclear payload. Piotr falls silent and looks at you. Everyone in the room turns to face you. We don't have enough missiles if they have 10 each. We only have a few of those. With this new information in mind, each of us must make a decision. You're free to leave the city or stay and fight to the end. Your words echo in the deafening silence. To those of you who choose to leave, I promise you that we will not stand in your way. I'm ready to die for your sake if I must, Sayadi. The Khan's fleet will join you. Wait, is that another wasp? Or is that the wasp that we already have and we might lose it if, if he was to leave? We've been through so much together, Grand Duke. The Alao dynasty is on your side. Oh, excellent, they are giving us stuff. The hidden people will join your cause, son of Sayadi. Fat man and a cormoran. The guardsmen of Gerrit will stand with you, Grand Duke. Ah, uh, see, this is where the reputation comes into uh, play. If I had more reputation with him, he'd give me more stuff. Uh, so will the pirates. Oh, what did he give me? Then Godspeed, gentlemen. Total war. Money means nothing now. Fuel, ammunition, and repairs are free of charge. In light of the calamity, many people in Garrett will seek to join your cause. <sighs> oh, man. Ammo received, fuel received. Oh. So now, we've got potential destinations of these ships. The problem is, we could just, you know, we could just place... Oh wow, this is the first time we have more. We could just place ships on all of these cities here to make sure they don't get there, but that will really not leave us with much there. And then, if we detect it, we just launch airstrikes. And there's still three strike groups? Holy moly. The strike strike groups? One. What? Oh, so there's only one strike group remaining. Phew. Okay. That's much better. Reactor integrity. Interesting. Destroy missile carriers. So... The thing now is, we don't really have radar. I mean, we have radar probably on... Let's see. I believe... We have radar on the Nomad. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff now. The, the, the Nomad has radar. So he can lead one charge. I could take the Sevastopol another way as well. But the Sevastopol is very good at... Uh, you know, preventing missile strikes, but then again, apparently these missile strikes can't really be prevented. 
So I'm gonna send Nomad one way. The Sevastopol with its radar. Where the where the hell is it? Oh there it is. Uh the Sevastopol actually doesn't have a radar. Oh uh, they don't have a radar, I sold it. Ah, ah crap. Okay, repair that. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so the Skylark has an Ellens, but not a radar. Do we really have no radars here? No. Good. Good. That's excellent. <laughs> I've just sold the radar. I've just sold it. This thing doesn't have a radar. This thing has a radar. A negative. So we've got two radars. Oh, man. <laughs> this is so bad. I've just sold the damn radar. <clears throat> I'm gonna... What is wrong with this thing? Nothing, apparently. <clears throat> I'm gonna land this thing, even though it, it isn't very useful anymore. It's got three engines. No, it's got four engines. And then we'll have to decide where to send those. Because we really can... Really only send it to two places, to be honest. I mean, I will send others elsewhere, but let me explain. Alright, let's repair this thing. We're gonna go as far as we can. See, the problem is... <clears throat> we send... Nomad, for example, here. And then we send the uh, the other one here, right? And if these cruisers, these missile cruisers, decide to follow, you know, they go to Kumdag and then here. And we're we're over here, for example, flying toward Mitzpah when these guys are almost at Kumdag. We won't see them. So we need to have radar to see whether they've slipped through our net. So. The question is... I think the real thing here is, instead of sending radar equipped ships here, it would be better to send just normal ships here. Actually, no, wait a second. These guys can decide to go here as well instead of the here. Oh, that sucks big time. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to follow these routes. If they go straight from here to Opfer, then yeah, that's, that's brilliant. So I'm thinking radar equipped ships would be better going towards these two locations because there's more areas here, around here. But it's still gonna be a, just a bitch. Oh man. And they probably won't have enough fuel. So the Negev is gonna take a Cormoran. And they're gonna, oh man, they can barely get anywhere. They're gonna go there. Can I send, like, a tanker as well? Um... Where is it? Tanker. That doesn't really give him any extra fuel. That's weird. Alright, so they're gonna go there. Then we'll take... The Nomads. What happens if I take the tanker with me? Nothing. Oh yeah, of course, because that thing already has so much... Oh, fuel. Fat man and another fat man, maybe. Or maybe like a wasp with them or something. Yeah, we'll do that. And these guys will go towards those ones. Uh, how much how much range do these guys have? Well, not that much range, actually. So... We're going to take the Sevastopol. Uh, what, Sevastopol is being repaired? No. Oh, it is? No. Actually, it is, but it doesn't matter. Sevastopol is going to take... I wonder if they're going to attack Kiva itself as well. It's gonna take the longer bow, it's gonna take the gladiator mark too. And what else? 
Maybe Yars will stay there. And we're go we're gonna go towards those ones. And then we'll take a tanker. And a wasp. And a fat man. And a scarab. And we'll go oh, I can't get there. Shoot. That's not enough. Take the Skylark, it doesn't matter. And these guys will stay here for now. Yeah, I think. Actually, I might send the slingshot there to join them as well. We'll see. <laughs> Look at that. Alright. Yeah. I want the slingshot to go with these guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Does it have enough? No, it doesn't, actually. Never mind. Just land. It's not gonna work. We'll do that later. Oh, man. This is gonna get interesting. So, we've already taken this place... ...for ourselves. So we just land there. Fuel received. Excellent. But they have to refuel. There. And now we want to go there as soon as possible. See, now I understand it would have been beneficial to take all of these uh, places out before we took Kiva. Alright, now we're going to have a fight there. Oh, who is it? Who? These guys? Okay. Uh, no, just hit them with everything we've got. Oh no, it's these guys that he was talking about, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, right. Oh, freaking hell. I got quite a lot of stuff. So the fat man is gonna go for high explosive. Look at that. Maybe there's more stuff up there, but I don't know. So is this two different... It's probably the big cannon and the smaller cannons, but it doesn't really tell me. Armor piercing. Don't really want armor piercing. Mostly I want uh, proximity fuse and incendiary. No, let's just go for normal. This is gonna get interesting. Don't have any flares. Oh, wait. Oh, freaking hell! Oh no no no, that's not good. This thing isn't. This thing is like an anti-aircraft. Oh, that's not good. Great. So this is just a... Uh... Okay. Restart. This thing is useless. Brilliant. Oh. Where are they? No flares. Nice. Holy moly. I'm already out. What's going on? Why can't I shoot? What, because they destroyed most of my stuff? Oh, freaking hell, already. I can't shoot that way. Brilliant. That's just nice. What, what happened to them? Oh, I don't want to go that way. This is just ridiculous. I'm just playing... This thing is useless! I can't... I can't do anything! Ugh. This thing is so stupid! This thing gets destroyed immediately! <sighs> hmm. 
It's just absolutely freaking useless, this thing. Yeah, laser guidance is gonna help. Absolutely freaking useless. I start so high up. Oh, good, and I'm destroying my own stuff. Brilliant. Oh, come on. I really have to be below them. But they all see me from so far away and they're just... And this freaking thing here as well. gets destroyed so easily. The enemy has been destroyed. Come on. I don't want them to get below me. The enemy has been destroyed. Much better this time around. How do they destroy my giant shells with their tiny things? Look at that. Okay, so far so good. This is much better than before. But holy moly. Ow. And already I'm I can barely fight. What the hell is going on, man? Why? Why is it so slow to reload? Come on! Oh, come on! Oh, finally! Man, this is gonna take forever to repair this thing. This thing is so useless. How could they get through frickin' armor so quickly? So brilliant, the fat man is just a frickin' anti-air and it's... it doesn't have a right leg. That's brilliant. That's just frickin' brilliant. Beginning tunnel approach. Oh. Fights aren't really fun anymore, to be completely honest. After the armor balance, uh, fight, fights definitely aren't fun anymore. I do have to say. And now, watch this. I'm gonna try to land gently, but it's just gonna keep eating my... It's just gonna keep eating that part of the ship there. Look at this. Like, like... See? Yes. Well, allies. What, I can get them for free? <gasps> I can! Oh, holy moly, that's actually... Oh, look at that. 96 hours to repair it. 96 hours. Do you want to say that again? 96 hours. And half of the stuff doesn't even work. This thing is freaking useless. Absolutely useless. Fine. R repair the damn thing in the meantime. This thing is just completely freaking useless. So we got a tanker. And, uh, Intrepid. I'll take the Intrepid. I won't take the tanker. I'll take everything. Man. Just... Yeah, fighting is not fun anymore. How can this giant ship have been destroyed so quickly by those tiny little things? Yeah, one of them was a pretty nasty thing. The one we, we destroyed the, at the end. But this is just ridiculous. You know? It's... I don't know. Anyway. Thank you for watching. We'll see how we can do this. There's... Actually, oh yeah, we're attacking this place. Doesn't matter. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.